I'd like to now talk about how to do a dressing change using either one of the Dermawound 3 brand products. Either the original, the Venus Stasis, or the Hypo formula. It's all basically the same. What you want to do is clean the area first. Very, you know, not in depth. You don't want to take a, uh, a washcloth and scrub out the wound. You never, ever, ever want to do that with Derma Wound. If someone wants to take a shower, they can take a shower. They can let the soap from their hair, which I don't have much of, run over their body. They can soap up the rest of their body. Let the soap naturally run over the wound. We don't want to have a targeted cleaning of the wound. The less you do, the better. I cannot overemphasize that. You never want to clean out the wound, wipe out the white, yellowish exudates. You never want to make it squeaky clean. You don't want to take a wound enzymatic cleanser and use it to clean it out. You don't want to wipe it out. The less you do, the better. I cannot emphasize that enough. Never, ever, 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 ever wipe out a wound when you're using Dermalin. What you're going to want to do is take approximately a quarter of an inch, about five millimeters of derma wound, put it on the dressing. You want to approximate the shape and the size of the wound that you're treating. You can either apply the derma wound directly to the wound, or you can apply it to a gauze pad first, then put it on the wound, and then put additional gauze over that securing all four corners so you have an occlusive dressing. We want an airtight occlusive dressing. Under the best circumstances, I'd like to see you do dressing changes twice a day or BID. In the case of, let's say, a brown recluse bite where somebody's having tissue sloughing, they're in deep trouble, there's rapid infection developing, you can do three dressing changes a day, but it's very, very rare. The majority of the time, you're only going to need to do two dressing changes a day. Oftentimes, people who live in outlying areas can only do one dressing change a day. If a caregiver can only get out there once a day, then that's fine. You're still going to heal much quicker, much faster than with any other conventional wound care product. Another thing people need to be aware of is and I would only say this because I care about the patient. I'm not just trying to sell as much product as I can. I'm going to tell you, if you are an active individual, we have lots of UPS drivers, let's say. These are very hardworking people. They're on the feet every day. Sometimes they don't take the best care of themselves. They might be a little overweight. They have venous stasis leg ulcers. I tell them during the daytime when you're active, if you have to work, I understand we have to do what we have to do. Only use the Derma Wound Venus Stasis at night. When you get home, you can put it on, put your feet up, you're done for the evening. You can go to the kitchen, you can fix food, you can go to the restroom, and then lay back down, prop your feet up at the table, get in your big easy chair and relax. I don't want people out walking the dog using any derma wound product. I don't want you exercising, doing any type of activity. The muscle contraction and movement is going to cause excessive irritation. So because I'm trying to have people heal the fastest, most efficient way possible, sometimes it's not best to use my product 24-7. It's best to use an antimicrobial triple antibiotic ointment, something like Bactroban, Bacitracin, I have Med Armor coming out. Vaseline is good, but just don't use um, Neosporin or Silvidine. For some reason, the name brand Neosporin seems to irritate wounds more often than let's say their generic counterpart. And you can get this at Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, wherever. Just get a generic polysporin triple antibiotic ointment. As far as Silvadine goes, you know, it just stops the healing. I don't know why it will keep the wound clean, but the healing just stops. So I don't recommend using Silvadine in conjunction with my product.
when you do a dressing change, when you, if, if the bandage does stick to the wound, just simply put clean water over it. It's a water-soluble product. It will dissolve and lift off easily. And you get a really neat impression of the wound, and you'll see the infection on the wound, greenish yellowish stuff. You know, I like that stuff because I like helping people, and it's what I do. Other people might get grossed out by hearing this, but to me, when I see a bandage come off and it's got a bunch of infection on it, and then I look at the wound bit itself and it's got healthy pink granulation tissue, I really like that. So the less you do during a dressing change, the better. If the wound, you lift the bandage up and it's got the whitish, yellowish slough on there, please, please, please do not wipe that off. You're wiping off primordial epithelium that the skin and tissue is trying to regenerate. If the skin flashes over onto a black eschar, do not cut that off. C traditional, conventional healthcare practitioners say, oh, well, doc, it's flashed over, it's black eschar. We need to take that off. Do not take it off, leave it there. The body is trying to heal itself up underneath it. It is healing itself underneath it. Keep putting the derma wound on top of the black eschar. When the body gets ready to, the black eschar will break up, become friable. It might come off in one piece or in different pieces. And underneath, then, you'll have healthy pink granulation tissue. Do not ever, ever, ever cut off the black eschar unless it's a type of dry gangrene that has absolutely no blood flow. The skin is mummified and it's black like beef jerky. When it's like that, you can take it off if it's independently hanging off by itself. But if, even if it's black jerky looking eschar on top of a wound, do not cut it off. Do not ever basically 99% times ever do a sharp debridement with derma wound. It's just not necessary. Again, to continue about doing a dressing change, BID is ideal. Once a day, if you're in an outlying area, if you are living alone and a caregiver can only come once a day, that's very sufficient also. You're still going to heal much faster than any other type of conventional product out there. A key thing here is that you keep using the derma wound until the wound is completely closed, completely closed. I have people say, oh, well, doc, now it's looking better. Let's use blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know, let's stick with the girl we brought to the dance. Do not segue away. Do not be creative. Well, doc, I want to add colloidal silver to it. You can ingest all the colloidal silver, nano silver you want. That's fine with me. Do not add anything to the wound care product. Do not be creative. Well, I thought I should do this because this is what I used to do. You have to forget every single thing you've learned about wound care up until receiving derma wound and starting it. Go back to the instructions. I tell MDs, PhDs, NMDs, PTs, RNs, everything. Read the instructions twice, maybe three times, because derma wound is completely different. You need to forget everything you've learned about the conventional wound care. This is not a conventional product. We're going to save you money. We're going to get you healed faster. We're going to keep you out of pain. You'll endure less suffering. The family will be happier. And if I didn't mention this earlier, if there's an odor problem with the wound, the derma wound, the odor problem will be gone within 12 to 24 hours after one or two dressing changes. The smell of pseudomonas, you go walking into a room, you can smell that. People, I've gone into VA hospitals, which by the way, I've always had good experience in VA hospitals, but you know, for whatever type of wound, for whatever type of reason, if the wound does has odor, the odor will quickly dissipate and the wounds actually smell nice. Uh, it doesn't smell like somebody's dying on the bone, that people are literally dying and rotting. The derma wound will quickly take away any of that odor. So, 
when you're doing the dressing changes, just remember, the less you do, the better. Just rinse it out with plain water, never wipe it out, never clean it out, never cut off the leading edges that are curling over. If you think the wound's closing too fast with the fistula, just use your finger and dilate it open, keep it open. Pack the derma wound in until it starts coming out again and then cover it up, make it an occlusive dressing. You can take a uh, syringe, put clean water in it, distilled water, put it in the hole, flush it out two or three times, that's it. The less you do, the better. Dermawin is an easy, effective, inexpensive product to solving major, serious, and critical wound care problems. And we are up for the challenge. Thank you very much.